Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to yesterday's kitchen. Today, I'm going to make a juice for the juice for the juice for the pineapple, orange, and a cactus. I'm going to make a sweet and sweet. I'm going to make a flavor of pineapple flavor and vanilla flavor. So stay tuned. I'm going to make a juice. It's just ingredients. We have cactus bang in it. We not. I'm going to use this for my kids. We are going to use this for my kids. So we are going to use this for my kids. Because we need to put them away. I bought them and I couldn't use them. So I put them in the freezer. So now this is what I'm going to use. We have just a little bit of it. So now this is what I'm going to use. We have just a little bit of it. We are going to use pineapple. We are going to add in sweetener. We are going to use pineapple. Flavor and vanilla flavor. This is the white hibiscus. We call it wonjo, the white one. We have red, we have white. This is the white one. We're gonna use just a bit. They don't use two today because we don't have our for us. So two today when you use. Oh wow, it's a dry one. It's already been processed. And this is what I'm going to use. My aluminium calabash that I use. Pura has one. You basically then you get soup. You need get soup. Basically, run. You know what I mean? I'm going to show you. We put it in here. I'm going to wash the sorrel or hibiscus. Some people call it because it's very very sandy. But if we want it to be concentrated, boil it in hot water, and then it will be very very concentrated. Dina sifa kena dengko buka buka kena follow dengko bahal. Sekali fikir buka kena follow dapat follow buka bahal. Walaupun if not, sifa kena buka lama follow dengko dua vaksin lama buka yang you buy kau faham? It is now clean. This is just about, let me see, about 75 grams. It's not heavy, it's very light, so it's not too much. 75 grams of the white hibiscus. We call it wonjo, wonjo boe. We have the red one too. And this one we normally use it when we're cooking like a dish called plaza. Add in some hot water until the hibiscus is covered. And then this one we're gonna put onto the heat. And let it cook for just about five minutes, otherwise it will be very concentrated. We're going to cut them so it will be easy to blend. It was inside the freezer guys, I didn't throw them away because I bought them and I couldn't use them. So we're now going to use it to make a drink, a tasty drink. I use it to a drink. It's just the flavor we want in the drink. The cactus fruits are also called prickly pear. This delicious prickly pear contains wonderful health benefits also. And these fruits are not just delicious but taste just like raspberries. You can also add it when you're doing your smoothies. It tastes very good. The fruits contains also vitamin B and C which is very good in stimulating your immune system. How many fat are you going to be eating? Halal, the Jan Oye fruit bini, like Jan Gambia. Back home, the cactus fruit is called snake fruit.
empty the blended cactus in a bowl i've already washed the pineapple clean we're now going to separate the head from the fruit has not pineapple we put a little in your guinea it. Okay. We're going to use for decoration. We're going to cut a slice that we're going to keep to do the decoration. I have a bigger knife, but this knife is my favorite one. <laughs> it's so little, but it does the job perfectly. Oops, this one we're going to keep. We get back to it. And then now let's just cut a pineapple. Pineapple, guys, I'm going to taste it whether it's, if it's sweet. Wow. Mm. Very sweet. Now we're going to cut it. Hold in our pineapple, baby. Pare, leg in a new dog or dog you sell. Spot if you're in a new girl because it blend a bit. Prepare a new blend go. I'm now going to strain the hibiscus. Leg in a one of the way I say that. One of the fat tanga drops of the machine you can do. I'm going to add in some water. Let it cool down. I'm going to mix this together. This is the pineapple and the cactus. The cactus fruit can be eaten raw. And it's available in different beautiful colors, like for example, red, purple, yellow, green. I'm going to add in at least one liter of cold water and then mix it properly until everything is incorporated. And then we're going to strain it. I'm going to add in the hibiscus after straining the pineapple and the cactus together. I'm going to add in the hibiscus. Now we're going to add in our flavors. Just one, two, covers like this of the pineapple and then just one of the vanilla I'm going to add in sweetener as much as you want to I don't want to want it to be very sweet I'm going to mix that up again All this foam was built up from the pineapple. The Yipsy pineapple will be the juice of New Guinea. I'm going to strain it for the last time for it to be fine. If you want in the pulp, you don't need to strain it again. Of course, I got for the last time, it's good if you have a pulp. Why is pulp? This is going to be chilled after one hour, it's going to be something else. You can add in ice cubes if you want to. 
I read somewhere that cactus roots can even heal inflammation. Both the leaves and the cactus roots are very effective. Do you know that cactus roots can also be used to make jelly and jam? And now decorate with a slice of pineapple. So guys, our pineapple and cactus drink is now done. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate your likes and comments. And don't forget to hit the notification bell for you to be updated whenever I upload a video. Subscribe if you want to learn how to cook African food and more of my delicious and beautiful recipes. Actually, this was a live video that I did in TikTok and I wanted to share it with my YouTube followers and subscribers. That's why I uploaded it into the YouTube channel. I hope that you will enjoy the video. Take care of yourselves. Bye. I love you all and stay blessed. See you next week in another edition. Bye. I love you all and stay blessed.